Welcome back. This is Tara with Tara's Traveling Paints, and I'm going to do epoxy today. I'm just going to do one project, so I'm going to do it with you, okay? I want to um, kind of show you the process. Now, generally speaking, you're supposed to use three ounces of epoxy per square foot. I'm looking at slightly over a square foot. Let me see what I got here. Let me just check this out real quick. Uh, oh, actually, it is about a square foot, but I'm not going to do three ounces. I'm going to do six. The reason being, I want it to be pretty thick, and I want to put a layer, my first layer, to have um, uh, that glitter in it, and then the top layer to not have it. And I also want it to be able to come over the side. So I'm hoping I get this right. I have the camera facing me so that I can see when I bend you down, because when I painted this, uh, you could only see like this much of the chair, and um, that's not cool. So. This is a gift for my grandson, Rutledge, and I'm gonna be seeing him on Tuesday. And um, I wanted to um, bring something special for him. Um, my granddaughter's gonna be in a concert, and I think she has a solo, so I'm excited about that. And um, the Squiggy's gonna to get to see her dad, so, um, or her, her older dad. <laughs> um, the gentleman that gifted us with her beauty. So, what I'm using for the glitter so I mix these two together to give it more of a teal look, and it kind of worked out pretty good. I'll just put a little bit in this little cup, and when I make um, the epoxy, I'll show you. Oh, it's going to be a little bit complicated, so I'm hoping I get it right. <laughs> so I need a couple of plastic cups, because epoxy doesn't go in that. So I've got one, two, three, four. Four, um, let me see here. I'm trying to think. Uh oh, my brain just went. Four with white glitter, four with the made up, uh, what do you call it? I don't think this is going to do it. I don't think that's, that's quite what I really should be doing. Oh, good. I was a little afraid I didn't have any of these cups, so I'm going to put. some in here and some in here. I'll probably go right up to this line and then just pour it on and then the rest will be clear, okay? I have to tape off too, so let's go ahead and get into this. I've got my handy dandy drill ready to rumble and I gotta make sure I'm not gonna get anything messed up here. I think I'll be alright. So, first thing we're gonna do is I'm going to tape off this chair, so I'm gonna move it over this way and um, get it taped off. And you'll see why I want to do that. Try not to get any paint on anything else. The table's getting paint, that's for sure. But... All right, let's go ahead, tilt you over this way and see if we can get you to see what's going on. I think so. So you see that it's already taped off for not getting anything on the bottom, but I want to put it, I want to create a, uh, a dam right there so that after a while I'll be able to pull it off and it'll just go over the side. So I haven't even mixed the epoxy. I've got the white right here. So let's get it taped first and then we'll mix the epoxy and we'll get into it. And hopefully everything will go smoothly. I decided to do this pretty early because Baby Cake's still sleeping. It's his weekend. And uh, I woke up at 5.40. Had some coffee. I still have some coffee to drink. I went upstairs this morning, found a present. I got some tins, which is pretty great. So. This has been painted. It was painted early yesterday. I believe it was early yesterday or the day before. So what I'm doing here is I just want to create a dam. It doesn't have to be super sticky, but a little bit. And because after about half hour, I'm going to pull it off. Now, I don't know if you're going to be here for that. <laughs> I don't know how long this video is going to be, guys, so bear with me.
Now with epoxy, preparation is everything. Um, and sometimes I get lazy. Just because I, you know, I just get lazy. That's what happens to me. So, for instance, sometimes I tape off my paintings that I'm doing. Sometimes I don't. Um, both come out very nice, but I think that the taping really takes it to another level. And also using propane on your initial bubble pop is pretty important. I know people say, oh, you could use a hairdryer. I, I, I don't think so. I, I, don't, I just don't think so. A butane doesn't even really cut it. But that's I use that in the second part, like my second round on the bubble popping. But my first round, so much better to be... Um, propane. It's just hotter. Alright. Did I make it? I did. Sweet. I almost pulled that tape off too soon. Okay, here. So I just have a little bit doesn't have to be a perfect dam, just enough to get it done. All right, so I've got it dammed off. I'm gonna put it back in its place. And we're going to mix some epoxy together. I need to put a mask on just because I don't want to damage myself, okay? So let me just make sure this is, okay, this will, should be alright. Let me see. Yeah, I'll use this one. So I want to make at least six ounces, so I'm probably going to need to use a smaller cup. Maybe I'll just go ahead and make a cup. That's eight ounces. Let's go ahead and make a cup. Let's see if that's going to work out. Let me see if I have... I do believe I need to mix it in that. I do believe. So, we're going to need two small amounts of uh, for the first layer. So after I mix the epoxy, I'm going to pour it to about there on each cup for the different glitters, and then the rest is going to be clear, okay? So I have my epoxy over here sitting in a hot bath. You want it to be warm. I've got the fan going. I've got the heat up a little bit so it cures fast because this this thing's out of here on Tuesday. And um, it takes 24 hour cure um, and it's usable, but uh, he's still little, so he's not going to be sitting in it anytime soon. So let's go ahead and make a cup. So what you want to do, this is stone coat, countertop, art coat. And what I just learned that I did not realize that this is exactly the same material as the countertop. This is art coat has a higher UV, so I can actually do countertops with this, which I, I think is pretty great. You want to start with B. You want to make sure it's dry because you don't want any water in your epoxy. So when you get it out of your tub, you can put it in front of the space heater as well. I just noticed here that this doesn't look like it was sealed correctly, and that's very upsetting. But let's see what happens here. I'm gonna get this wiped off. If I've hurt my epoxy, I'm gonna be mad because that's a lot of epoxy and it's very expensive. So, you want to start with B. And it looks like we're, we're in good shape. It just happened to be like that. So I'm gonna get low so I can see where that half cup is. B is thinner, okay? Right on it. Let's make sure we shut it all the way. Now I'm going to put it back in the hot water just in case I need to make more. I let it sit up here for about an hour. Not even, really, probably half hour. A, this is equal parts, one, in, one on one. It's thick, and you'll see. 
Let me move my hair. Oh, I didn't even put a mask on. Well, maybe I won't. I don't know. It's kind of sad when you're seeing all these people make videos and they don't have to wear masks. And I'm using the same stuff. Kind of makes me mad. I always try to wipe that off a little bit. Make sure I'm getting on there right. I want no mishaps. Alright. <coughs> Where did I put my coffee? Okay, it's far enough away. I'm like, I don't want anything in my coffee. Alright. So, I can't set a timer. Three minutes with a paddle. If you don't have a mixing paddle, you're looking at uh, five to eight with just a tongue depressor, okay? So that's good to go. So I can watch the timer on that, on the video and kind of see where I'm at. Scraping the sides as I go, trying to get a good mix going on here. About a minute and a half in already. because of the fan. We're almost there, guys. Okay. I'm going to finish up with... Um a regular tongue depressor, just because I want to put that up. Always let it drip on something that you don't mind getting in trouble, okay? So, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put these. See, I have something in my epoxy. I'm not sure what that is, but it's going down. So I'm going about halfway from where I said. All right, let me get some tongue depressors. I like the bigger ones for epoxy, for sure. Let's put our glitter in. All right, these little baggies, I open them, I put them in a cup so I don't I just don't have the dexterity to get them in those little glass containers. So I'm going to go ahead and mix this. Mixing it, mixing it, mixing it, mixing it, mixing it, scraping and scraping and mixing and mixing. Scraping and scraping and mixing and mixing. 
I'm trying not to keep my face over it because I did not put my mask on. <laughs> I gotta say, guys, I started doing a castor oil on my forehead at at night. What a difference! Now you all know, you probably know, I'm a smoker. If you've watched my videos before, and um, that's not good for your lungs. I wake up normally in the middle of the night and I can't go back to sleep because now that when I get up to go to the bathroom or something like that, the lungs move and you start to cough. So I'll, if it's severe, I will go in the other room so that baby cakes can actually get his sleep because he uh, works 60 hours a week. Um, and if not, then I'll just sit there and wait because lying back down really kicks it off. Look at that. So pretty. So pretty. Um, so, I'm going to pour this out of here. I want it out of here. Let me mix it a little bit more. I need to get some more of these guys because you really shouldn't be using them more than once. This is the second time on this one. So, they shouldn't be used more than once. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw it out after this. And I'm going to leave it in case I have to make some more. But um, I'm going to make sure I get rid of it and throw it out. <coughs> so I'm not tempted. You know what I mean? Like, don't do epoxy with... It actually should be a completely level, like a perfect thing. You can go to Home Depot and get epoxy cups. All right. Very nice. So mixing and mixing and mixing and mixing. All right. So there's the white. There's the clear. We need to put gloves on. And um, need to get my fire down here, so I'm not running around looking for it. And I think I need a scraper. I'm going to run this over it just to help with the mixing process, okay? All right. So, let me see. Can you see? You can. You can. Let's see if I can get you. There we go. Look at this. We are rocking and rolling, guys. All right. So my goal here is to get the different stripes. So, so that's a metallic silver and a custom greenish teal. Still didn't put any gloves on. I'm going to need them because I'm going to, why am I shaky? Oh, I haven't eaten breakfast yet. Probably could have used more, but we'll see. I think it's going to come out beautiful, so I'm not too worried about it. And I have plenty of clear, which is really necessary. Maybe I won't use that little thingy. Do another mixy, mixy. Um, so anyway, the castor oil, I'm just putting it on my third eye. I'm sleeping all night, and I'm not waking up with a cough. What? Crazy. So uh, I highly suggest you try that out. I'm going to do probably a video later for my other channel to um, discuss. I mean, two days of that, and I don't even have a pack yet. Crazy. I think it's the best thing in the damn world. I can't even believe it. So it's a really nice... 
uh, marriage with that and my um, stem cell reactivating patches. And uh, the results so fast are just ridiculous. I just, where have, I mean, I have done a lot of research. A lot of research on healthy stuff. And I'm just like, holy shit. So now I'm just putting some clear right over the top right here like this. I generally do this in two stages. But I'm not doing that right now. I may have to make more. Let's see. Let me tilt a little. It's looking like I'm going to need more. Maybe not. So I'm just doing the tilting right now so that I can go back in with the torch. It will self-level, so don't get too worried about it. I'm not smelling it at all. That is good. because I didn't use any chem, uh, what do you call it, silicone in this paint, I didn't have to wait weeks. You Generally you do, but it was a last minute decision to be able to get to go to see the kids. And, um, don't tilt it off. I knew I could get this done. I've, I've epoxy today, later, often. Just moving it around a little bit. Then I'm going to put fire on it. I'm going to get over there. Get over here. Well, I think we're doing pretty good. Very nice. All right. Wondering if I'm ever going to need gloves with this. I don't know. Big fire. So this, is, you want to be safe with these. All right. They have a on off you know they're all different but make sure it's off and then put it on and then you hit the button Turn it off and I'm going to put it away. I don't need it near me. You always want to leave it kind of open before you put it away because sometimes they have flames still going even though it's off. So here we are. It's looking really nice. I won't have to make any more. I'm not going to have to make any more. Heated it up pretty good, so it's now it's moving a lot more. I'm, I'm losing some, don't lose some. Oh, it's so pretty. I love watching this stuff, it's gorgeous. So just like when you're painting, you want to bring the, the weight back. I got that corner needs to get full, so it's got to come over here. Come here. There it is. Sweet. All right, now it's going to self-level. And I've got about 20 minutes before I pull that tape off. 20 minutes to a half hour. And um, so that's that. That's looking pretty good. I don't have to make any more. I'm so happy. Now I'm going to keep monitoring it to make sure no new bubbles pop up, but 
I find when you do damn it, you have you don't have to fight bubbles as hard. Okay, so this is a decent coat. It's way more than what is needed. So what did I do? A full cup, eight ounces for a piece that only required three. So that's pretty wild. And now I have my little butane, and I'm just gonna go in there, and make sure those bubbles stay away. And I know that the um, the glitter got mixed a little, but it looks so pretty. You can't, I mean, video doesn't do anything for justifying the beauty of it, that's for sure. Let me make sure back here is good. Okay. All right. That's pretty amazing. That's going to be really cool. So I'm excited about seeing my granddaughter, my daughter, Rutledge, my mom. It's been a minute. It's been a long while. So um, I'm just really glad about that. And I'm staying an extra day. I was only going to go for 24 hours. Uh, two reasons. I can't stand being away from home. <laughs> I don't like being away from Wayne at all. Um, and the other reason, because money, and I just, you know, I want to get back. So I ended up agreeing to stay for one more day because Chris's birthday and he wants, um, <coughs> fancy there for his birthday. And, um, I actually do a New Hampshire run on Thursday. So why not, instead of coming back on Wednesday and driving back and uh, doing another two hour trip on Thursday, why not just take care of it all at once? It will help a little bit with the, uh, the money. I don't want, I don't want to be such a burden. You know what I'm saying? Okay, I see a bubble. It could be. Uh, no, it's just glitter. I try to use the finest glitter I can. Sometimes I use thick glitter because it makes it look like there's imperfections. Well, there's not. Sometimes. So I try to use really fine glitter. This is pretty. Okay, so even if you're not perfect with epoxy, you can do it, okay? Like you saw in the beginning, I didn't even fully, like my cap wasn't fully tight on my B. <laughs> and thank God it didn't spoil. Um, I'm not gonna need to make any more. So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this now. Sometimes I keep the, st the sticks. I might, yeah, let me keep the sticks. Reason why? It just makes them stronger. <laughs> Doesn't mean I, I'm going to use it for epoxy again, but I can use it for painting. All right, let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of that. I never even had to put gloves on. That's amazing. I haven't touched any of it. Like none of it's touched me, which is really good. So let's see here, I want to, uh, I'm gonna pause you. You won't see anything different. We'll be back in 20. All right, guys, I'm back. It's been about a half hour. I'm gonna pull the tape now and let this do its magic. So now this is going to run over the sides nice and evenly, but it's going to remain thicker on the top. Pretty awesome. So what I did for that time is I, I went and made myself a sandwich. And, um, yep, paint, the, it's going over now. There's no spots on there that are empty. That makes me happy. I'm gonna hit with some more fire. Just a little butane. Just to be sure we got it going, right? Looks good to me. And I'm hoping you enjoyed this. I think it's gorgeous. 
I'm excited. All right. So it's gonna keep going. Um. Let's uh, we pick it up. Check this side. Oh, if I can. <laughs> Probably not. Right. Let's see. I just don't want too many drips because they can get sharp sometimes. And if this is for a kid, you don't want it to be. I guess one thing I could have done is I could have taped underneath. You know what I mean? But it should uh, slow itself down here shortly. All on its own. It's gorgeous. Oh boy. Alright. I think I need to take you in for a little bit of a closer look, okay? See if I can get you off this phone without ruining everything. There we go. So since I have it backwards... Or a way I never normally do it. Let's check out that shine. It's gorgeous. It came out fabulous. I really love it. All right. I want to thank you so much for hanging out with me today. And I want to thank Stone Coat Countertops for making such an amazing product. Go check out their, their page. Um, on YouTube, there's they put up a recent video of doing a shower stall with, I think it's R2K Designs or something like that. They actually, they're affiliates, so they actually ship out within a day if you order before noon. Um, Stone Coat's a little slower than that, so that's kind of cool. So they must have a stock of it or something like that. So check them out, and maybe one day I too will be a Stone Coat countertop affiliate. <laughs> All right, I'll see you on the other side. Bye-bye.